what's going on everybody we're back here with another video for you guys today we have the levels 11 level 10 comp pass fantasy pack i like to open these video videos up for you guys um you like to see what it is depending on how far you got and i know it's like on a friday and kind of been taking my time a little bit before we continue please to like comment and subscribe on roll to 17,000 we're almost at no 16 we're like 60 away so we're relatively very close to be hitting that so by the time you guys have seen this video i will probably be live um probably right now on youtube or twitch it just depends but let's go ahead and talk about it so you guys are probably saying brie what are you talking about for you guys who are no money spent you're just not getting to the game you want to build your team it's really no excuse because they do give you stuff to actually upgrade. So the pack I'm talking about is at level 11, 90 uh, competitive points. Compass, BND, Fantasy Pack. I, I, I'm get, I mean, this need to be at least somewhere around here or even further down just a little bit. Take out this. No, no one wants much champ tokens, EA. But um, 90 CP isn't really that much. Like I said, I'm still playing my much champs games and uh, stats is already done and stuff like that. Solo battles, I got to work on. But um, it's relatively easy and simple to do. Well, I speak for, speak for myself. It's not easy, but you can simply get it done by playing offline solo battles and just going head to head if you don't feel like going to much champs. So... Probably saying what is in it, what is the best one? Now we got this like two, three months ago, um, before, and I'm surprised they brought it back. I wouldn't mind them doing this if you happen to miss out on getting the max level reward. But it's simply the pass um of the players uh, that you can get from the compass here. I'm surprised they didn't keep this particular card art because everyone wanted Trevor Lawrence and then Tariq Woolen was probably the most sought out of. But uh, probably saying Bree, which one is the best one to go for? Well. It's a couple things you have to take into consideration. One, your theme team, which positions. Now, I wouldn't recommend, you know, getting on these older guys unless they hit your particular theme team. Like Benjamin, you know, he is uh, from the um, Commanders. I think I quick sold him. <laughs> so, but the, the problem is these older cards relatively suck. So, like I said, that's you fit your theme team, position, you get Graham Gano, which is a kicker they had to grind for. And it was really no point. My best advice for you guys who, when you picking this and make this decision, I would simply go for the 96s. Now, you're probably saying, why, Brie? Why 96s? Well, because they give the most training. That's why I recommend picking up these guys because you're, you get some of these lower tier guys, you're not going to get that much training. And, I mean, even if you do want some of these guys at your position, I wouldn't even waste your time doing it. Excuse me. So, what I'm going to do, I guess I already have Big Goose, no point. I already have Nate Davis. I had Deshaun Wright. I'm going to pick um, probably Nishan Wright because he's a cowboy. That's probably the best one to do. And then just quick sell it. If you're if you are, if you're lacking it, if you're lacking positions, then go ahead and pick the best one. But if you have almost everybody or you have like a God squad, it's quick sell it. It's essentially training, ladies and gentlemen. So hope you guys do enjoy this video. Man, let me know in the comments down below which one you guys pick. I'll see you guys in the live stream.